Now let's look at a question on single acting reciprocating air compressor. The question says a single acting single cylinder reciprocating air compressor has a cylinder dia of 200 millimeters and stroke of 300 millimeters. Air enters the cylinder at 1 bar in 27 degrees Celsius. It is then compressed to 8 bar via this process which is a polytropic process. If RPM is 250, find the mass of air compressed per minute and power required in kilowatts. Now, let's write down the data which is given to us. The data which is given to us is that the diameter of cylinder is 200 millimeters which is 0.2 meters. Okay. The length of stroke is 300 millimeters which is 0.3 meters. Based on this information I can find out the displacement volume okay that is pi by 4 into d square into l so put in the values you will have pi by 4 into 0.2 square into 0.3 this displacement val volume becomes 9.424 9.424 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter cube okay now we need to find out that how much mass will this volume have okay so mass of air can be taken as p1 v1 upon r into t1 okay now t1 it is 27 degrees celsius and p1 is 1 bar so p1 is 1 bar or 100 kpa t1 is 27 degrees celsius 300 kelvin and r for air is 0 0.287 kilojoule per kg kelvin so put in these uh, values over here so you will have 100 kpa into 9.424 into 10 to the power minus 3 divided by 0 0.287 into t1 is 300 Okay. So, mass of air is this is 0 0.0109 kg per cycle. Okay, but we need per minute. So, if you remember the formula for the induction volume rate, so in a, similarly we can find out induction mass flow rate. So, that would be ma dot is equal to ma into rpm okay so you will have this is inductions per minute okay so you will have 0 0.0109 into 250 this would give you kilogram per minute okay so that value is 2.74 kg per minute so this is the mass of air compressed per minute okay the next part of the question is the power required in kilowatts for that i need t2 now this is a polytropic compression and to find out t2 i will use this expression which is p2 by p1 okay from here t2 becomes t1 is 300 into p2 is how much P2 is 8 bar. So P2 is 8 bar. So this is 8 over 1.3 upon 1.3. So this T2 becomes around 484.75 Kelvin, almost 485. Okay. Now the work input is mass flow rate per minute into n upon n minus 1 into r into t2 minus t1 okay so if you put in the va values you have 2.74 into 1.3 into 0.287 divided by 0.3 into 484.75 minus 
300. So when you do the calculation for this part, the work input, this would be kilojoule per minute. So kilojoule per minute comes about to be almost 630. That is kilojoules per minute. Okay. To find out the power required in kilowatts, divide this by 60. So you will have 630 by 60 and this would give you kilowatt. That is almost 10 watts, a little over 10 watts, 10 kilowatts. So you will have 10.49 kilowatts. So this is how you do this question on a single acting single cylinder reciprocating air compressor. So this finishes the topic on the reciprocating air compressor. In the next video onwards, we will start discussing about the rotary air compressors.